Hello, everybody. I'm John Locke, and I'd like to welcome you to the LockingYourSuccess.com Trading Performance Podcast, where it's all about real traders, real problems, and real coaching. Listen up and enjoy the segment. One of the dynamics that you want to watch for, I mean, everybody likes a high win rate, but there are more important things than the win rate. And one of those more important things are the dynamics of what's my average win versus my average loss. Uh, we have plenty of trading strategies that might be in the 90% win rate, but their average win is going to be less than their average loss. And that can be a challenge, right? So the, here we have an average win of 23.53. And by the way, this is on a position size of uh, $2,500 planned capital uh, consistently from beginning to end. Again, consists of some back tested, some some live, some real-time simulated. So, But that is the dynamic we have. Our average win is substantially higher than our average loss, which allows us to have a lower win rate, yet still be profitable. And another big dynamic is, you know, people talk about tail risk or the outliers where you get this really, really huge loss on the strategy or a really, really huge win. What are the outliers on the strategy? Well, the outliers in the time timing we have, the biggest loss we've ever had on our $25,000 planned capital trade is a little over 3,500. Now we have an exit loss trigger 2,500. Sometimes that gets exceeded, right? You get market gaps and all this other stuff, COVID and so forth. So uh, you will exceed that from time to time. And we have, right? So about 3,550, but look at our largest winner. Largest winner, $11,875 on playing capital of $25,000. So that's, you know, that's in the 40, getting close to 50% range. So the point being is if you have a strategy that usually wins $100 and usually loses $2,500 or more when it loses, you need a really high win rate just to break even. Plus, psychologically, it becomes hard to trade that strategy because you, when you win a lot, you see people tend to raise their capital level. Then when they lose, they tend to drop their capital level, meaning it takes even longer to bring back up. And then, of course, you have the dynamic where, where once in a while, if you take a very big loss on the trade because of certain things that happen in the marketplace, it takes forever to make it back up here. You know, we can make up our largest loss in one cycle. So those are very important dynamics when you, when you start trading. Also, maximum consecutive losses have been two maximum consecutive wins have been almost two years in uh, hey john i wanted to make a comment period. on those yeah. metrics absolutely most people should be familiar with profit factor and if you are anything over one you know is profitable and if, for those that don't it's it's an expression of positive expectancy so your average win times your average dollar win times your win rate less your average loser times your loss rate and 5.6 is crazy high the other comment I wanted to make is if you look at the equity curve, you know, when you zoom out, you're like, wow, that's that's exactly what we want, you know, going from the southwest to the northeast, right? <laughs> but there's also a period from 2018 and 19 that the strategy sort of went sideways. Now, the, there's two ways to kind of interpret that. One, it's not a drawdown dip, which is really attractive. Normally, which would be expected, you would have a trade do really well for a while. It almost looks like a price chart, right? And then it would retrace right. a little bit. There have, and that didn't really happen. However, I can I can tell you from experience, a lot of people get frustrated in that period, even though mm. it's probably more or less. It looks like it probably made money. Maybe maybe it broke even. Maybe some people didn't trade exactly by rules and it lost a little money. But as John has mentioned often in the past, when you run into that with these strategies, oftentimes a huge run of success is right around the corner. And that's exactly what happened in 2020, 2021, and, and uh, continuing through this year. So it speaks to the fact that even when you have a high performing strategy, you know, sometimes it's going to go sideways, maybe have a little drawdown period, but you don't want to just completely abandon things. And then all of a sudden the market conditions are just perfect for that strategy and you miss the, the big equity curve ramp up. And that is what I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see in the next Trading Performance Podcast, please list that in the comments and I'll personally answer your questions and comments for you. Also, I'd love to encourage you to come on over to LockingYourSuccess.com. That's L-O-C-K-E in your success.com and check out our Trading Performance and Pro Memberships where you can find the tools you need 
become a much more effective trader, regardless of the type of trading you do. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you on the next Trading Performance Podcast.